You find a lump in your breast and your stomach drops, but it's smooth and it moves and it's tender. So you tell yourself it's just a breast cyst. I told myself the same thing. I'd had them before, but the last time I was wrong. It was breast cancer. I'm Dr. Liz O'Riordan and I've treated thousands of women with breast cysts. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what they are, why they happen and whether they can turn into breast cancer. So what actually is a cyst? So if we look at your breasts, they're made up of a network of lobules and ducts like bunches of grapes on a vine. Breast milk is made in the lobules and it travels through the ducts to get to the nipple. Now, if you're not pregnant, your breast lobules are normally empty, but sometimes they can fill with fluid like a balloon filling with water. And that's what a breast cyst is. And they're really common, especially in your 30s and 40s. Most cysts are simple and they're filled with clear fluid. Some are complicated and they have cloudy fluid inside. And a few are complex and they have solid bits floating around. You might have lots of tiny ones. And that's what I had in my 30s. It's called fibrocystic change, which sounds really scary, but it's harmless. And I'll tell you why it happens in a moment. You might just have one big cyst that keeps filling up, like those magic candles that keep relighting after you blow them out. So if cysts are this common, who actually gets them and why? Now, if you haven't gone through the menopause yet, every month your hormones rise and fall, a bit like a tide rolling in. And for some women, the rise in hormones just before your period causes the lobules to fill with fluid, like a rising tide. You may have lots of little cysts in your breasts or just one large one. This can make your breasts swell and grow. They can feel fuller and tighter and maybe even sore. After your period, your hormone levels drop and the cysts normally empty like the tide going out. So if you have a lump that comes and goes with your period, it's almost certainly a cyst. But sometimes one cyst gets really big and it doesn't shrink. It just stays and it can be sore because it's under tension. And that's the lump that needs to be checked out. You need to come and see someone like me. But why do some women get them when others don't, when we all have the same rise and fall in hormones? And the answer is, we don't really know. We know they're commonest in your 30s and 40s as you near the perimenopause, and they tend to disappear after the menopause, unless you're on HRT, of course. But how do you know what you're feeling? Can you tell the difference between a breast assist and a breast cancer when you check your breasts? Now, the honest answer is you can't. Every lump you feel is going to send your brain into overdrive. And unless you're an expert in breast exams, you won't know what you're feeling. But I'm an expert in breast exams. I am a breast surgeon and I still thought my cancer was a breast cyst. Now I've had several cysts in my 30s and the first time I found one, oh God, I thought it was cancer. I just got engaged. My husband had gone off sailing for two months. I was all alone. And I remember shrieking on the sofa. I was, I was imagining myself, it's gonna be dead in a year. He wouldn't want to marry me. I couldn't wear a dress. I'd have no breasts. It was the end of the world. I was so hysterical. I was, oh, it was just, it was the end of my world. I was so worried. Now, luckily the next day, my boss thought I was a wreck and I told her what was going on and she squeezed me into the breast clinic and it was just a cyst. Phew. Just like the next few, I had breasts full of cysts. There were lumps coming and going all the while. And then nine months after my last cyst, I was 40. I just had a normal mammogram, the lap for my last cyst investigation. I found another lump. I just thought it was another cyst. It was in my left cleavage. It was smooth. It was round. I wasn't worried, but I was wrong. It turned out to be a breast cancer. So why was I fooled when I've got expert hands? Well, most breast cysts do feel smooth and round, like a little ball under your fingers. They can be firm and sore to touch. They're normally a bit bouncy, like a balloon full of water that you can just squeeze a little bit. Some cysts are so small and soft that you barely notice them, but they still make your heart sink with fear. But here's the catch. Some breast cancers can feel like breast cysts, a smooth, round, firm lump. And that's why every lump that doesn't disappear in a couple of weeks needs to get checked out every time. Even if you've had a big cyst before, 
in the same place, you get checked out just in case. And you can watch this video to see what happens when you go to a breast clinic. Now, if it's just a cyst, surgeons or nurses like me can treat them for you. And if it's something else, we'll look after you. In the clinic, you'll be examined and then you will have an ultrasound scan. If the scan shows that it's a simple cyst and it's not bothering you, you can go home with a huge sigh of relief. If the cyst is painful or it's getting in the way when you put a bra on, we can drain it on the spot using a syringe and it's like deflating a balloon. It takes seconds. If the fluid is clear, then you can go home with a smile on your face. If the fluid is bloody or the scan shows there's some solid bits inside the cyst or it's actually not a cyst at all, we need to take a closer look. And that normally means taking a sample of the cyst wall called a biopsy. And you can find out what that involves in this video. Now, the reason we do this is that one in five complex cysts are cancerous. But let's say you just had a simple cyst and it's been drained dry. Is there any chance it could come back? The answer is yes, but we don't know why. We still don't know why some cysts come back and some don't. Now, if they do come back, it's usually over several weeks or months, not days. And if it does, and it's tense or painful, you just go back to clinic and get it scanned and drained again. I had several ladies in their 40s who popped in every few months with the same recurrent cyst. You are never wasting our time. And honestly, we don't mind draining them. It's oddly satisfying. But the question that might keep you up at night, does a breast cyst increase your risk of getting breast cancer? The answer is no. Having simple cysts does not increase your risk. But if you notice any of these, a new lump in your breast or your armpit, a dimple in the skin, a change in breast size or shape, a rash on the breast or nipple, a pulled in nipple or bloody nipple discharge, please get checked out. This video goes over all the signs of breast cancer because it's not always a lump. And if you don't know how to check your breasts or you're not sure if you're doing it properly, watch this video next and let me show you what to do. Remember to subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if I answered all your questions. I'm Dr. Liz and thanks for watching.